Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Kenny Wallace Show. Man, this one's really hard. Uh, this one is really hard. So on Saturday, in the Xfinity race, the second biggest division in the Cup Series, we have Ty Gibbs, who was all controversial with his wreck earlier in the week at Martinsville. Ty Gibbs shows up. His grandfather, Coach Joe Gibbs, uh, you know, he has a, a lot of talking with Ty Gibbs. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. talks with Ty Gibbs. Uh, Ty Gibbs does all the media. Uh, he had everything on him. And I got to be honest, this was a sign of a champion. Ty Gibbs brushes it all off and literally wins the NASCAR Xfinity Championship in incredible form. Passes Noah Grax and passes everybody and just flat out wins the NASCAR Xfinity Championship. Whether you like Ty Gibbs or not, you know, I gave you my version on Ty. Ty the person, uh, you know, he is your NASCAR Xfinity Champion. But this is hard for me. Me to go forward, but we have to. So Ty Gibbs wins the championship. Zero, zero controversy. Uh, Noah Graxon shakes Ty Gibbs' hand. Ty Gibbs is your NASCAR Xfinity champion for the 2022 year. The team goes on the racetrack to take the official pitchers. So in one of the last pitchers, it was Ty Gibbs. Ty gives his mother, his father, Coy, and, you know, Grandpa, which was Coach Joe Gibbs. And this is where it all goes horribly sad. Later, everybody loads up. You know, they celebrate a little bit. But you have to remember, the Gibbs family is extremely religious. Uh, you know, there's no beer drinking within the family. They all go back to the hotel. And, of course, of course, Ty Gibbs is going to run the Xfinity race the next day, right? Uh, remember, we lost Kurt Busch this year, so that opened up a ride. So Ty Gibbs was going to drive, you know, the 23 car uh, in the cup race the next day. So fast forward to Sunday, and tragedy strikes. We hear that Ty Gibbs will not be running in the cup race on Sunday because of a family situation. Later on, we find out just in disbelief, Ty gives his dad, Coy, dies in his sleep in the hotel room on that Saturday night, just hours after his son, Ty, wins the championship. Oh, dear Lord, hear me now. That's as hard as it gets. Uh, you know, I think of Bill Elliott. He said, Herman, timing and circumstances in life. You talk about a roller coaster. Uh, no, no, no matter what you think of life, you know, Ty wins the Martinsville race in complete controversial fashion. His criticism was valid, he, but he, he toughs it out. You got to give him credit. He makes it all the way through the week, and the kid just gets beat up, uh, wins it all, and hours later, his father, Coy Gibbs, passes away in his sleep. It doesn't get any worse than that. I don't know what would be worse. Uh, just complete tragedy. Now, here's where it gets incredibly eerie. Um, my family, uh, my wife, Kim, her mother, Dee, they're reading all the articles. So Coach Joe Gibbs has two children. Of course, J.D. J.D. died of, you know, a brain situation two, three years ago. We lose J.D. Gibbs. He dies at 49 years old. And then on Saturday night, he loses his brother, Coy Gibbs, at 49 years old. 
unbelievable. My, my heart goes out to the complete Gibbs family. What does Coach Joe Gibbs, I mean, he's a man of faith. He's got to really be, be digging deep down. I, I think of uh, the great Bobby Allison losing Davy Allison and Clifford. I think of the legendary Kennedy family, uh, you know, losing, you know, JFK and, and Robert and uh, little, you know, J, uh, little John. Uh, I mean, when a whole family loses their family, uh, you look up in the sky and you just, you know, you pray. So anyway, uh, we're not going to break the race down really that much. Uh, it was a seamless race, I will say. Uh, you know that that will be uh, that will be what I have to say. My prayers to the complete Gibbs family. Uh, I'm so sorry, but as as far as the race goes, uh, let's just say that. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. gathered all his drivers up. If you remember, there were three drivers from Junior Motorsports against the one driver, Ty Gibbs. That makes up the four drivers for the championship. Later on, Dale Earnhardt Jr. came out and had a meeting with all his drivers. He said, you will not wreck Ty Gibbs. So the race, you know, his drivers listened. And the race played out seamlessly. There was no drama until after the race. So we'll end this show uh, with respect to the complete Gibbs family. Uh, I think we broke it all down. So until the next Kenny Wallace show, we'll see you then. <laughs>